And now to our other big story tonight. Law enforcement all across Southern California is mourning the loss of Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Darnell Calhoun. Yeah, Deputy Calhoun was gunned down in the line of duty after less than a year with that department. Hundreds and hundreds of fellow deputies, though, honored their fallen brother today as Deputy Calhoun's casket was escorted from a funeral home to his memorial service. John Fanilio is live for us in Rancho Cucamonga tonight where that funeral was held. John? Kareen Rick, good evening to you. This was a somber and touching tribute to Deputy Calhoun, a young man who friends, family, and colleagues say put his heart into everything he did. He was always on duty in the service of others, and he paid the ultimate sacrifice. I can say with full conviction that as long as I've known Darnell, he was always on duty. Tonight, the end of watch for one of Riverside County's finest. He was always on duty. He was always on duty as a loving husband and father, as a loving son and brother. He was always on duty. Slain Sheriff's Deputy Darnell Calhoun given a hero's escort with a 50-mile police procession from a funeral home in Marietta to a public memorial at the Abundant Family Living Church in Rancho Cucamonga along with air support from law enforcement agencies all over Southern California. You could count on him to give his time to sit with you and talk with you and listen half with you. It was his duty to love on. By all accounts, Deputy Darnell Calhoun exemplified what we want our deputies to be. Strong, kind, compassionate. He loved his job and he understood it was his calling to help people. It was that calling that placed the 30-year-old deputy in the line of fire the evening of January 13th. Calhoun was responding to a domestic violence call in the Lakeland Village community of Lake Elsinore. He was the first deputy on scene and was shot to death by a man as he approached a home. He's a hero. That's what I look at. He died for his, his, the world, you know, the community. Nothing else to say, you know, I mean, I, I hate his kids, you know, they're not going to know their father, but at least they'll be able to see, um, hey, all of this, they don't do this for, no, you know, just anybody. Calhoun was also an inspiration. I basically learned about him that he was a great father, a great son, um, a great husband. They sacrificed their lives and I want to do the same to help people. He was the second Riverside deputy killed in the line of duty in the last several weeks. 32-year-old deputy Isaiah Cordero was shot and killed by a convicted felon during a traffic stop on December 29th. Deputy Darnell Calhoun, ID number 6097, ends up watch January 13, 2023. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. He was always on duty sacrificing himself to protect and to serve. Law enforcement was just an extension of how he lived every day of his life. Darnell was always on duty. Of the goodness of God. Deputy Calhoun is survived by his pregnant wife and their two young sons. There are a couple of fundraisers online right now to raise money for the Calhoun family. If you'd like to donate, you can find those links on our website, ktla.com. We're live in Rancho Cucamonga. I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you in Hollywood.